from where it all started. What's up, guys? Today I'm bringing you a replay of Bandit Keith and Inanta beating Cyber Angels. To my first opening. Roxanne 34 back here with another Duel Links video. Water Dragon Duel Links. <gasps> no. The most improbable pulls. Metabat. Sandstone. Oh! oh! No! No way! Haiku the Ghost Destroyer, it's a nice common. Yes! Epic Milestones. And here it is, the 10,000 subscriber every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! opening is finally here. We're going from the newest set, Toon Chaos, to the oldest first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. Driving Snow, Harpy's brother, Jinzo! Let's go! Oh my goodness! <laughs> We've got a giant soldier of stone, and it's an effect monster. Could it be that Harpy? Cyber Harvey Lady, there we go. Come on, let's get something. Kaiba Man Secret Rare! It was a secret rare! Our first ever pull from Retro Pack 1 as a hollow. And the most legendary collabs. here with Moist Critical. Fire grass on this I thing. had crazy luck this past week. That's why I use it all up on my soul. Oh, yeah! Exodia, the forbidden one! 1,000 episodes later, we celebrate it all by doing what we have always done, opening rare Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and this is in fact the 1000th epic video on the channel. Okay, maybe most of them, probably all of them, not that epic, but it's been an awesome ride and it's been incredible to actually upload this many times and for a lot of people to actually care about my uploads. So in celebration of that, we are gonna be opening a bunch of awesome stuff, but first we have a giveaway. And since it's our 1000th upload, I figured we'd do a pretty big giveaway. We're gonna do a three part giveaway. One box of Dimension Force first edition from a fresh case. You got all your chances at Starlights, everything like that. Then we have a legendary Duelist Rage of Raw Box. I don't remember where this came from. Had it around for a while. <laughs> and then finally, the third winner, Ghost from the Past Second Haunting Mini Box. So you guys can win any of those. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite moment from the last 1,000 videos. Maybe a specific video that you loved. Okay, guys, we have a lot of different packs to open today, but of course, we're going to open a little bit of Ghost from the Past too, because we've had some amazing luck with this set and hoping that we can continue that in this video. I'm pretty excited. I'm happy that we get to post a 1,000th video. Video, which technically actually it's not 1000 videos because I did dual links before this and I unlisted like 100 videos So it's really like 1100 videos, but it doesn't matter. All right next pack. We also have OTS packs I need some token collectors for the YCS. I, I want to use that card I don't own any so if we can pull some token collectors, that would be great uh, Contact C. That's a super rare. That's not the card we're looking for We also have some first edition hobby packs. We opened a few of these on the channel We've had pretty good luck, but we're still looking for that dark neos ultimate rare for myself I did pull it for someone else before but for myself it's a little bit different actually that might have been on that might have been on whatnot i can't remember okay let's see crop circles very nice we got the rouse the starbird alien skull the synthetic seraphim amulet's rescue root alien gray the acroid connection zone can we pull something amazing supercharge that is the opposite of amazing that's pretty awful all right, next pack, we do have not only Metal Raiders blisters, but we also are opening a couple of Magic Ruler as well. So first edition blisters coming up in this video, Sacred Waters in the Sky, very cool. And the Cocterium, very nice. Let's go with another one of these. We have the most ghosts from the past two. We have 20 packs of that. There's a lot of packs in this video, so it might be a little bit longer. I wanted to have somewhat of a decent length video to celebrate the 1000 video special. I'm pretty excited that we actually made it. That's pretty crazy. I didn't even realize that until I was streaming the other day. And people were like, yeah, by the way, you're seven videos away from a thousand. I was like, oh, 
Okay. And speaking of streaming, there we go. Kagamucha Night. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. So if you guys haven't been checking it out at Ruxin34 on Twitch, go check that out. You guys can see there. I've been playing a, a Nuzlocke for Pokemon. It's been pretty fun. So it's not the usual Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but it's been really, really fun for everyone there. So if you guys want to check that out, it'd be awesome. All right, next pack. We got the uh, decode. Uh, is that no Borland is the one that's like a dollar now. It's crazy. So Deco Tiger Heat Soul, that card has fallen as well. Pretty much everything in Ghost from the Past 2 has literally crashed. Like, there's so many copies on the market that everything's just worth nothing except for the Ghost Rares. So, even those good cards like Heat Soul and stuff like that that started off pretty valuable are not worth too much anymore, which is pretty crazy. Okay, Brainwashing Beam. We got Power of the Duelist. Black Stega. The Fake Hero. Crop Circles. Very nice. The Orbital Bombardment. A Risky Roid. Very nice. Destiny Hero Fear Monger. Oh, Viercore Connection Zone, and Future Fusion, a nice Future Fusion regular rare. Still pretty cool, though, a nice card. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph, so go down below and click that subscribe button. Next pack, let's go to Ghost from the Past. Then we're going to open up one of the blisters, because we have eight blisters to open today, so there's a lot to pull in there. Let's see, we got the Mars, we got the Ryza, the Mega Monarch, formerly pretty good. I think it's like 50 cents now, but still a pretty good card to pull, so we'll take it. All right, let's start it off with a Magic Ruler blister. It's another one that had a little bit of stuff going on there. Let's do magic ruler first before we get into those metal raiders because this one you know it's still pretty cool but not quite metal raiders level i also you know i'm a huge metal raiders fan you know so this one i don't like as much still pretty awesome though magic ruler first edition can we pull something cool like a serpent knight dragon relinquished i mean i don't care let's just pull something out of here it'd be pretty cool any foils would be awesome one two three four let's see if we can not ruin it ceremonial bell it's a ceremony of a thousand uploads very nice the kotodama the octo burser it's not october but it's bursering we've got the hungry burger not very hungry i just ate okay wall shadow very nice the stone ogre grotto Chain NRG, High Tide Yojin, and Flying Kamakiri Numero Uno. Okay, just number one. That's okay. Metal Raiders, not Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler. Very cool. That's pack number one for the blisters, but that's fine. It's a dud. But we got got a lot way, long ways to go. A lot ways to go. That's the wrong thing to say. Shell Knight, very cool. I don't even remember that card, so I don't think it's worth too much. We got the Colt Wing, got an ultra rare printing. Very nice. Can we get a token collector? That's what I want. <laughs> I mean, ultimates are nice and all, but token collector, super rare, please. Okay, Ghost Trick Break. And Destiny Hero Dasher, another one that fell to like a dollar, unfortunately. Let's go back to Ghost from the Past. Can we get a Ghost Rare? Let's do this. We got the Lara J, the Mi Vision Hero, the Go. We got the Track Black. Despot 001. And that's it. That's just, that's every card that we, that we can pull out of there. That's fine. Let's do one more Ghost from the Past. Then we're going to go back to Power of the Duelist Sandwich. Very nice. Galaxy Soldier. That's a good card. The Sanctum and the Tinny Spirit Mapura. Not much crazy so far. Maybe we're saving it all for the end, though. I'm down for that. I'm totally down for that. Let's pull something amazing. All right. Mausoleum of the Emperor. Very cool. Decoy Roy. These feel even slicker than the last one. Uh, Bite Lawn. We've got the Destiny Mirage. Destiny Hero Fear Monger. Rescue Roy. Very cool. Orbital Bombardment. Uh oh. Uh oh. Black Terra. Cool. And. Destiny Hero Dogma. So we have a super rare. That is not bad. Destiny Hero Dogma. I mean, what is going on with this? Okay, never mind. This thing has like water on it. Okay, let's not put it in a sleeve with water on it. That's a little better. All right, Destiny Hero Dogma. Super rare. All right, all right. We'll take that. A super rare from Power of the Duelist. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're leading up. We're, we're starting with the super rare. Then we're going to do Ultra, Secret, Ghost, you know, stuff like that. Master Hyperion. We got the Vampire Grace. Sky Cavalry, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, and the Vampire Domination. A very cool Vampire Domination, but not what we're looking for. We got a Dark Magician Girl pack. Does that mean we can get the Dark Magician Girl inside? I am down. We got the Puppet Queen, Agent of Judgment Saturn. We got the Galaxy Soldier again. Very cool. Another decent one. Necro Dragon. Pretty cool. Plunder Patrol Shipyard. A lot of zombie stuff coming out recently. Back to P-O-T-D. What can we pull? So far, just a super rare, which is not bad, but we are looking for something even better. Last time we opened this, we pulled an Ultra Dark Dark Neos and we pulled an ultimate rare so might be asking a lot to pull something out of here but we'll see we got the ambulance roid common soul he's very common he's a soul we got the blade master alien hunter wonder gaddish the alien gray synthetic seraphim black terra and 
Oh, and an ultimate rare super via Croyd jumbo drill. And the jumbo drill is looking pretty sick. All right, a little bit of back scuffing, or not scuffing, but back uh, indention. Overall, this looks like a pretty nice card. Wow, this card's pretty clean. Maybe a little bit on the corner right there. No, I think that was just the reflection. Front centering is really good on this card, which is unusual because usually they've been pretty off center from these packs. Very nice. All right, we got an ultimate rare. It's just a super normally, so it's not like an ultra or anything, but still pretty awesome. Okay, looking good. After this pack, we're going to open up Magic Ruler. Our second Magic Ruler pack. We have, can we get a Ghost Rare? Let's go. Plunder Patrol Ship, Moerick. And Crystal Beast, Rainbow Dragon. Good card, but not good enough. <sighs> Magic Ruler, first edition. Let's do this. Oh, that opened really easily. All right, perfect. This was the one that was super bent, so makes sense that it opened pretty easily. First edition pack, our last magical of the video. The rest are all metal raiders, so pretty exciting. Pretty hyped for those. Let's see what we can pull on here, guys. First edition, MRL. Let's do this. Let's see if we can pull something. Ryu ran. Toll, hand us your money. This is like uh, me. All right, you want to open a blister? Hand over the money. <laughs> but really, what's happening is just we're just ripping up the money. All right, Reliable Guardian. We got the Spear Cretan. Very nice. Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Uh, yeah, he's a goat. Okay, cool. Fire Kraken, a squid that thrives on fire and heat. I could have guessed that from the name. But very cool. Dark Witch. Very nice. A popular creature in mythology that delivers fatal attacks with a sharp spear. Very nice. Crab Turtle. And what will we pull? Oh, the Arkansas Razorbacks. All right, Arkansas Razorbacks. Woo pig suey, but uh, yeah, let's just keep going. Unfortunately, uh, Razorbacks aren't going to do us much good in this video, but let's let's move on to Ghost from the Past 2. Great Mammoth. Chronicle Magician and a Vision Hero. Multiply Guy. I love the Multiply Guy. All right, OTS been a while, but we just need a token collector. That's all we need. Super rare. Let's do it. Incantation Talismandra. Tan. Quake or Hercules. That is not the right super rare. That's fine, because we have Ghost from the Past 2, which is going to pull us a Dark Magician Girl, by the way. Just letting you guys know. We've got a Crimson Knight. Agent of Creation. All right, let's do it like this. Okay, Tinny Spirit. All right, not very good. Got the Yang Zing. And is it a Ghost Rare? Galaxy Soldier number three. We've got a play set of those, so that's not too bad, actually. Back to the legendary POTD, which has just recently pulled us an ultimate rare. So I figure that's probably all we're getting out of this one, but we'll see. I mean, last time we had an ultra rare as well, which is actually harder to pull than ultimates out of these, which is... Don't ask me to explain that. It's just weird. All right, fake hero. Alien Hunter. The Brainwashing Beam. Miracle Jurassic Egg. Contact. Alien Gray. Fossil Excavation. The Akroy Connection Zone, and... Ooh, an Ultimate Tyranno, super rare. So another foil pull, not bad. These PLTDs have done pretty good overall, I think. The time has come for our first Metal Raiders, first edition. These blisters are actually in great shape. A lot of people wanted to buy them. I turned down tons of money to open these, which is, I mean, this is what we do. So let's just hope we, all I want is one good pull. I want one good pull, which is probably a lot to ask out of six packs, but one good pull, I'm super happy. It doesn't have to be multiple pulls. It's blisters, so you guys know anything can happen. We just destroyed a very nice Metal Raiders blister, which is just painful. Let's see what we can pull. Out of these blisters, you're going to get Thousand Dragon if you get a Secret Rare, not Gate Guardian, which is fine. I would totally be cool with that. Any Ultra is incredible, even if we pull the Legendary Horn of Heaven, because I need that in PSA 10. I now have half the Ultras in PSA 10, so I need to pull that. Okay. King of Yami Makai. Harpy Lady. Very cool. These are such nice cards, and even some of the rares are really awesome. Ancient Elf, pretty nice. Kojo Kazi, all right. Can we get the Pecanio Moth first edition? Oh, upside down. Okay, it's really throwing us off now. The Bistro Butcher. Doma, the Angel of Silence. Look like the centering's okay on these commons. Little Swordsman of Ale, all right. Block Attack, what's going to be the last card? Whew, get nervous, guys. What will it be? Will it be something epic? Oh! Oh! Summon Skull! Ah! <laughs> no way, it was upside down for a second. I couldn't even tell it was hollow, but of course it's Summon Skull, so it is. But it looked like it wasn't even hollow at first. Metal Raiders first edition Summon Skull. No way. All right, guys, into the video. We're not open to the rest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's our one pull that we asked for. Oh my gosh. Okay, that top right corner might have something going on. I can't tell if it's the reflection or not. But the centering is amazing. Serve is looking good. Yeah, it might be... 
The corners are shining weird in the light. I can't tell. We're going to have to double check this. This will be getting submitted to PSA so you guys will see it. Oh my goodness. We pulled our own summon skull. First time I've ever pulled this card out of Metal Raiders first edition. This is a good time to do it. First edition summon skull. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That's huge. Okay. On to the next pack. Wow. It's going to be hard to follow that one up. That's about as good as it gets out of that set. That is insane. We've got a Summon Skull First Edition Ultra Rare. This is going to be amazing. This video is going to be awesome. Vion, we got the Vision Hero Gravito, Mathematech Edition, and the Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. Okay, nothing too crazy there. That's fine because we got a Summon Skull, which is insane. I can't believe we pulled that. We still have five more, by the way. <laughs> We've only opened the one. All right, Manju, that's a good card. And uh, Baby Sarasaurus. I love the dino. So pretty decent pull there. Let's go back to one more Ghost from the Past. Then we're going to open a Power of the Duelist again, which has been pretty decent to us today. We've got the Executor, we've got some Pokemon, Geomath Mech, the Necro World Banshee, very cool, and the Doom King, Balderock. And speaking of Pokemon, go check out my uh, my Twitch, you guys, if you guys want to watch the Nuzlocke. So far, I've been recording this a little bit early, so, I mean, it, it might even be over at this point. Probably not, hopefully not, but uh, maybe it is. Go check it out. All right, one, two, three, four. Very cool. Sabersaurus. We've got the Royal Writ of Taxation. All right, Power of the Duelist. Give us something amazing. Re legendary cards in here. We could pull Dark Neos in here, which would be crazy. Rallis the Starbird. Black Terra. Flying Saucer Musik. Paths of Destiny. And, and, and. D Spirit. Okay, after this one. And. Destiny Hero Dasher. His Fall from Grace used to be a $20 rare. Not anymore, unfortunately. So sorry, Dasher, but still pretty cool pull. Okay. Ghost from the past, the second haunting. What shall we pull? Vampire King, if we get a ghost here, it'd be insane. A Luber, okay, that's pretty big too. And a Luber, the Jester of Despia. So far, a pretty amazing opening. Pretty average outside of the Summon Skull, but when you couple the Summon Skull with everything else, it's not that average. All right. OTS 18. Can we get a token collector? I just need like one or two. Come on. Get the Diverge. We get the Vampire Retainer. Insector Peak Felina. Okay, that's a really bad one. No big deal because now. We go on to the second blister. Whew. Okay. The guy who sold me these, he said, uh, I told him I was opening the Metal Raiders. He's like, yeah, I hope you get the best pulls. Well, Summon Skull is one of the best pulls, so <laughs> shout out to him. I'm sure he'll be watching the video. Insane. Insane. That's incredible. Now I'm getting greedy, but if we get one more thing, we're going to be going crazy. We're already happy. One out of six with Summon Skull is already insane. So anything else at this point is just like bonus. It's just awesome. And you guys know blisters though. You know, anything can happen though. That's the cool thing about them. And what we're also looking for is a center Picania Moth degrade. So I do have a PSA 10 signed by Rhyme Style, but I don't actually have one that I've graded myself. So that'd be pretty cool. This is upside down, down again, which is really weird. All right, we got a Roaring Ocean Snake, first edition. We got the Hibikime, very cool. The Gigatech Wolf. Kaminari Attack, very nice. This was used for a while, like, I think as an instant fusion target or something. Steel Scorpion. I keep having to check to make sure we're like actually recording. I don't want to lose this recording. Prevent Rat. Feral Imp. Very cool. The Launcher Spider. All right. Awesome. And finally, the final card. Milus Radiant. Okay. This is not one that I would have particularly wanted, but that's okay. You got to have some duds when you hit some big homers like summon skull Milus radiant not too many commons i really cared about in there on that one but still pretty nice okay still a lot of packs to go let's go with an ots 18 pack and let's see if we can pull the token collector manju very nice ghost trick kagamucha knight come on where is it give us our card all right give us the card we're looking for Let's go into Dark Magician Girl. Very nice. Come on, Dark Magician Girl. Be in this pack. We got the sandwich. And finally, will it be Ghost? No, it's a Time Thief Temper Wall. Wow, the centering is horrible on this. Like, it's so skinny and so large on that side. All right, but still, fine. Not worried about it. <sighs> Power of the Duelist. Yeah. See, this is why it's so hard to, like, when you sell a few and then open some, it's like, what if you sell the ones with the good cards in them? You know what I mean? It's it's always a struggle when I'm selling stuff. It's like, do I sell all or some? Like, or do I open all of them? Because then I want to make sure I get all the good pulls. You know what I mean? All right, Ambulance Road. We got the Decoy Road. All right, Miracle Jurassic Egg. The Crop Circles. It's alien time. We got the Baby Sarasaurus. We've gotten that in common and super rare version in this. Chrysalis Dolphin. We got the Paths of Destiny. Ambulance Rescue Roid. And... A Cyber Summon Blaster. Okay, well, nobody really wants that card, but we'll take it. <laughs> Woo, okay. One more Ghost from the Past. We're going to the next Metal Raiders. We are running a little bit lower on the extra packs. Ghost Rick Stein. DDD Vice King Requiem and the Rare Fish. All right, with a Hornet. All right, not too exciting. Now it's time for Metal Raiders number three, first edition. 
So far, one huge hit and one dud. We've ripped up some beautiful cardboard today to get to the even more beautiful cardboard. Let's go, man. I, I gotta say, these Metal Raiders blisters are one of the best looking Yu-Gi-Oh items ever. So it, it has been a little bit tough to open these. It's always hard to see the first edition on these. It's like so high and small. It's like really easy to miss. You're like, wait, is this unlimited? And like, no, it's not. First edition. This is the first time I think I've ever opened a first edition. No, every pack opening was a first edition blister. I took it out of the blister though, I think. Upside down again. Very interesting how that's happening. All right, Disc Magician, very nice. Rabbit Horseman, but the first one, it was upside down for the back commons only, which is strange. So I wonder if this is just a rare, maybe that's a giveaway. Pump King, the King of Ghosts is a pretty cool common. Paralyzing Potion, I once put this in a deck against a machine deck, that was smart. Uh, the Little Swordsman of Ale, all right. Block Attack. The Big Eye. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast, pretty nice card. And the final card, what will it be? Oh, and we got the Hoshingen, the star boy that's yellow. He's not blue, but okay, another dud. We started off with the Summon Skull, and then we hit back-to-back -back duds, but that's okay. At this point, we're already happy. Anything else is just a bonus. Pretty cool cards, though, out of Metal Raiders. Now let's go right into a Power of the Duelist first edition. Can we get an ultimate rare? Black Stego. Brainwashing Beam. We've been brainwashed by the Skull. Alien Hunter. Oh, we messed it up. This is Common Soul. We got the Elemental Hero Neos. Orbital Bombardment. D Spirit, Chrysalis Dolphin, and oh, an elemental hero, Flare Neos. I thought this was the ulti for a second. I was going to lose it if this was the ulti. Still, centering, not too bad on this. Okay, so maybe gradable for the Flare Neos. A little bit going on in the middle of that card, but still a pretty nice overall. Surface is pretty solid. Ultra rare, one of the best cards you can pull in this set. All right, that's a good pull. OTS time. Let's go. Give us a token collector. Come on, Vampire Retainer. It's what we're looking for. Quake Art Hercules, man. Come on. All right. Ghost from the past, too. Come on, ghosts. Visionary Poisoner. Poisoner? Yeah, Poisoner. Okay. Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. All right. We're down to the last few packs. Let's do OTS. Turn it back 18. Give us what we're looking for. The token collector. Baby Sarasaurus. Come on! All the wrong ones. Power of the Duelist. P-O-T-D. Can we pull something? Mate, we already pulled an amazing ultra rare. We pulled an ultimate rare. We've done pretty good out of these. Destiny Mirage. We got a Mausoleum of the Emperor. Bitlon. Wonder Gettish. Elemental Hero Neos. D Spirit. Flying Saucer Musical? Musicai? I don't know. And Cyclone Blade. All right. So nothing too crazy there. It's time to hop into the third to last blister. First edition. So we were 0 for the last two. Can we pull like a super rare or something? Okay. That one opened pretty easily, actually. Whew, come on. Summon Skull is calling you. He's calling the Beast Skull Dragon. He's calling the Time Wizard. He's calling Solemn Judgment. He is calling Barrel Dragon, Thousand Dragon. There's so many epic cards we could pull. So this one is upside down as well. You guys think that means it's a rare? So far, all the ones with the last card upside down have been a rare. Summon Skull was actually not upside down. We just flipped it. Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number one. Ground Attacker, Bugroth, which I always say Burgoth. I've been wrong. King of Yami Makai. Leogun. Ryukishin Powered. Mystic Horseman. First edition. Share the pain. That's when you don't pull anything good. You share the pain. You guys are sharing it with me because I'm the one in pain. But Illusion is Faceless Mage. And what will we pull? Will it be a rare or a foil? Oh, it's a shield and sword like Pokemon games. Shield and sword. All right. All right. Just another rare. So it seems like when they're upside down in these, they've all been rares. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. It's only been four packs, so you don't really know. But interesting pull. All right. We have one more of each of these packs. Then we have the end of Metal Raiders. Two more of those. Let's go. Tin, tin key spirit. Tin key spirit. Different. Okay. Vision hero increase. Very nice. One more chance at token collector. Come on, token collector. Do this for us. Be in this pack. 10 packs, no token collector so far. We got the uh, Golvage and the Ogdoidic token, so no ultis either. So those were not too good, but that's fine. We have one more power of the duelist. This thing was super beat up. So like, yeah, this is perfect. We need to open this guy. One, two, three, four. Our final packs before the last two blisters. Destiny Hero Defender, 2,700 defense. This guy's even bigger than Big Shield Guard. That's pretty insane. Common Soul. Ambulance Roid. Fake Hero. Contact. Wonder Garage, Rescue Roid, Synthetic Seraphim, and Alien Mother, the mother of aliens. Okay, that's fine. We had some pretty good pulls out of all that stuff, but 
It's time to get in those blisters. We are down to the final two. Once again, thank you guys for watching me for a thousand videos. If you haven't seen all 1,000, then get to watching them. What are you doing? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's keep going. Last two blisters. Thanks again, guys, for being fans of the channel. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hopefully we didn't damage anything there. I don't think we did. It was, it was pretty soft landing. First edition, fat pack. You guys know I love fat packs. No body shame in here. Let's do this. Metal Raiders first edition. What can we pull? One, three, four. It's not upside down. It's not upside down. Let's see if that means foil. I hope it does. Mega Thunderball. We've got the bottom dweller. He dwells in the bottom. All right. Okay. Ancient brain. Let's keep going. Share the pain. Ancient brain. Share the pain. Pale beast. I made it into my own video. Yes. Let's go. Jurai Gumo. You love to see this card. That card is insane. 2200 attack. Four star was insane back in the day. Blackland fire dragon. Prevent rat. None of these are upside down, so I don't know what to think here. What will it be? All, it's all over the place in terms of the QC, which is, you know, totally different from how it is now. Quality control is amazing now. All right, let's see what it is. Song of the Thunder. Super rare. Let's go. And this card is minty. I mean, it's always this corner. Seems like there's something. But I think it's just the lighting. Song of the Thunder looks incredible. Super rare. So one ultra and one super. So far out of five packs. What an awesome pull. I will take that any day of the week. Whew, one more pack to go, guys. Final pack of our 1,000 straight video. No, well, not straight, but 1,000 videos on the channel celebration. Can we possibly go three for six? That would be insane. That'd be crazy. 50%. Fat pack. Final Metal Raiders first edition pack. So far, a Summit Skull and a Song of the Thunder. Whew. Let's do this. Final chance, I believe. Come on, don't be upside down. Don't be upside down. Don't be up. Okay, not looking good. But let's just hope we're wrong. Armored zombie. Oh, wait. Check out his armor. Zero defense. Very amazing. Flame Cerberus. The battle steer. Different card. Hiyosube. I'm hoping that we can break the streak here. Also, oh! Last pack! The Pequeno Moth! And check out that centering. Okay, time out. Before we keep going, we gotta check out the Pequeno Moth. Check this thing out. Clean. Centering looks good. We have pulled a PSA 10 Bacanio Moth. We've done it. This will be graded at some point when it's not $100 probably. I mean, not that the Bacanio Moth's not worth it, of course. Of course it is, but let's see. If it is a rare, we want Magician of Faith because that card's awesome. And then uh, Cyber Jar. So, no, that's immoral. Um, what's the other one? Setting in, which is Black Forest, stuff like that. Armored Lizard, Nematory. Did you guys know that means chicken? I know, it's crazy. I think it's the last card. No Bistro Butcher. Okay, next one, next one. What will it be? Final card of the opening. Oh, and a Witch's Apprentice. That's all right, though, guys. What an amazing opening. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust, Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Draxtree, Moose, Junior Barding, and then the Thai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.